YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy back again with another video. And look where we are today, in my kitchen. Now, what if I told you, if you made one simple change to your diet, that it would change your lifestyle and health forever? All right, guys, what's going on? So like I said, we're in my kitchen today. I'm a big fan of cooking, eating out. But recently, about three weeks ago, your boy made some changes to his diet. I stopped eating meat. Yeah, yeah, I know it's stunning, right? Well, it's actually been ongoing for the last couple years and I'm gonna get into it why I made the decision for myself personally and why you guys can consider it or do some research and look it up. It's, it's crazy, man, what they're putting in our food these days, but I'm gonna start from when I started having issues with my digestive system, basically, all the way up to now, where I'm at right now, 2023. All right, so check it, about four or five years ago, I was just like every other person, probably 90% of the country, eating McDonald's, <laughs> eating processed foods, cookies, chips, pizzas, burgers, eating whatever really, not really watching what I eat. So I'll say about four or five years ago, I started to have issues, but it wasn't something that was like too alarming, I would say, and I kind of ignored it. Uh, I started to have some symptoms of indigestion, bloating, diarrhea, constipation, everything you name it under the sun. It started out very, very slow. So it would come and it would just go away. But gradually, over the next two, three years, it got a little worse, a little worse. And eventually I had to go to the doctor to see what was going on with me because one day I had a meal from Chipotle and my stomach just went haywire, man. Like, it was like doing flips, turns. <laughs> uh, it hit a mind of its own, literally. So one day about uh, late 2020, I went to the doctor and you know I told him exactly the same symptoms I just told you guys that I was having and he really, didn't have an answer for me, you know, he did some blood tests. That kind of frustrated me, man, you know, with the healthcare world, they're not really into holistic or natural healings. And I'm a believer in a testament of natural and holistic healing. So fast forward, uh, that was late 2020, so about two years ago, man. I had got back from a trip from Vegas, and after that trip, man, a, a long layovers, long flight, Man, my stomach was just, it was just done. Like, <laughs> from there, um, my symptoms was probably at the worst. I mean, I was experiencing everything. I literally couldn't eat anything at that moment. So, me being the guy that I am, I took matters into my own hands, and I started researching. If you're having issues, start with a doctor. Start with a doctor. Obviously, let them run the test, because you don't have the capability to run tests on yourself. And from there, if you feel like the doctor's not really getting any progress, look into holistic healing. Look into natural healing because trust me, it does work. Literally one year ago, last summer, I cut out all processed foods. I stopped eating junk. I started phasing out fast food. Right now, I don't eat any fast food, but I started to phase it out. It was all, everything is slow. You can't really go cold turkey on this. Start slowly, one by one. So last year, I started phasing things out. I phased out chicken. And uh, when I phased out chicken, I started to feel a little better. Then I went, I got rid of bread, grains, flour, like French fries, GMO stuff. If it was not organic, I was not gonna touch it. If it was uh, not a whole food, meaning a whole food, a food with one ingredient. So I started consuming more foods with one ingredient. Once I started consuming better foods, better diets, now, after I cut out chicken, I was still eating pork, I was still eating beef, and I was still eating fish. I decided to cut out those three main meats. Right now, present day, I am pescatarian. <laughs> so um, I feel like fish is best for me. That's what works for me. I eat it once a day, right? So I'll run you briefly through what my diet is today. I start my day in the morning. I drink some fruit juices, 
I do intermittent fast, so typically I want to be done with dinner around seven. Some days, you know, I go over seven, so I might run to, I might eat dinner at 7.30, which is fine. As long as you're getting about a good 14 to 16 hours of no food going in your system, it's gonna be great for your digestive system. You don't know, but it takes a lot for your body to digest food. It's great for your body. Today I eat twice. I eat, typically I eat twice a day, sometimes around lunchtime. Now my lunchtime is different from y'all lunchtime. <laughs> so I would say about midday, I might have a light snack. I might eat some fruit. I might eat something like that, but for the most part, I have a big breakfast. So I have a paleo free uh, waffle mix. So I'll make me a nice waffle and I have me like three or four eggs. I have some avocado and um, I'll drink some sparkling water. That's typically my breakfast every day. For dinner, I'm going to have my, oh, I'm sorry. I skipped the most important part, which we're going to get into here shortly. I will make myself a smoothie. So. Uh, smoothies is my new thing. So this is how I'm making it on this diet. I drink a, about one to two smoothies a day. I consume a lot of fruit, but uh, that's typically it, man. I have uh, some fish. Once you start phasing things out, I know you're like, well, you know, I get hungry, man. I get hungry quick. But once you start making these changes, you intermittent fast and you'll start to feel more healthier, more energized. Now we're in real estate. I'm a real estate entrepreneur. Um, you want to be at your best. Health-wise, you want to have the best energy. You don't want any brain fog. You're operating at a high level every day. So why would you want to eat trash food? We got to be at our best. I work a lot of hours. I work more hours in my own business than I work when I used to work for corporate America. So I need the energy and I need to be focused. And uh, eating the fruits, I'm telling you, it's a great feeling, especially with the smoothies. I love smoothies. So uh, right now we're gonna, I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna show you guys what I typically put in my smoothie. All right guys, so check it out. Here's my daily homemade smoothie here are my ingredients. So let's run through it. I got some organic watermelon in here, some strawberries that I throw in. I might throw in two, three pieces. I'll throw it in banana. I like to mix it with, oh, I'm missing my almond milk. Let me show you what almond milk I got. And I'll get this uh, tropical delight. So it's apple, mangoes, pineapple, oranges, grapes, ginger. I'll mix these two. Throw in some ice cubes. Wheatgrass, if you don't know what wheatgrass is, this knocks out inflammation and it definitely helps your digestive system. Uh, I got my organic peanut butter and one of my favorites, raw honey, man, organic honey. This is locally here in uh, Lake Worth. Yeah, I'll mix it up and this is what I'll have every day. So some days I'll have it most of the time I have it in the morning and some days I'll have it for lunch and I love these smoothies. All right guys, so that was pretty much it. Um, I'm showing you what I've been implementing. I told you what I cut out. Full-time pescatarian, three weeks in, I love it. So uh, now what I have in front of me, there's just some other things that I added to my diet that have made me feel a lot better. And I think you should consider implementing it yourself. You can do your research. All right, so let's start with my daily, well, my nightly detox I take, I may pronounce it wrong. This is, this is called Tripala Gugla. This is a light detox that I take every day, detox your cells. It's horrible taste, but it's great for you as far as your health. Now, this right here, once I, once I discovered this, I felt like I was starting to get over the hill and things were changing for the good. Now, these two things right here, <laughs> listen to me closely. Fast food, restaurants, wherever you going, you know what they're cooking your food in? Canola oil, vegetable oil. It's horrible for your system. The only thing I cook my food in, avocado oil, or a nice fine olive oil. Once I made these changes, you not you don't have such greasy food, okay? Next. So, this is the trip hala peel. So, this is the this is the powder. This is a peel I take in the morning. Same thing. So, do your do your research on it. I'll drop uh, the name of this down below in the description, but it's called trip hala. Now, this right here is sea salt. I know us folks, especially as black folks, 
We like to cook with all these seasoning, these herbs, and we're using this refined salt. Horrible. Get you a great sea salt, man. This is gonna help you tremendously. Not this ain't got nothing to do with digestive. This is for your cellular body. Do your research, look up sea salt. All right, man, so that's it for this video. Um, I broke down why I cut out the meats, all the changes I made. I hope this inspires someone because I was on the fence. I was lost, I was confused. I didn't know what to do. And I started doing research, you know, YouTube University, checking things out on Google. So hopefully this video inspires you. Yeah, we talk about real estate, making money, flipping houses and all that stuff, but your health is your wealth. It's very true. If I have not made these changes, I probably would not be standing right here, all right? So thanks again for tuning in to the GNC show. If you have not liked this video, hit the like button, it's free. And if you not have subscribed to our channel yet, what are you waiting on, man? You see this content we dropping? Hit the subscribe button, man. Peace out.